What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Dennis from Ted's, and well, I bet you I know what you're thinking. Where in the hell have you been? Well, guys, that's what I'm here to do today, is to tell you where the hell I've been. And well, it's a bit of a long story. I figure instead of telling you, it'd probably be a hell of a lot easier to just show you. So, well, let's do what we like to do. Let's go for a little ride. I've been here in Daytona Beach at Bruce Rossmeyer's Daytona Harley Davidson. You know, the centerpiece of Bruce Rossmeyer's destination Daytona, the biggest Harley Davidson dealership in the nation. It wasn't a planned move, guys. I was very fortunate to land here. I could have spent the rest of my days very, very happy in Ted's Motorcycle World. The people there were awesome. They treat me great. But a great man, Benjamin Franklin, once said, Life is what happens when you're busy making plans. And well, life happened and here i am now i can't complain guys because i mean let's face it i'm at daytona harley davis and this place is pretty amazing come on let me show you around I mean, it takes me five minutes just to get from the parking lot through the building into the upstairs used by inventory. Man, look, you gotta check this place out. Now this is something that I always thought was pretty cool. This is the entrance into the service department, okay? Our service department has actually got a ride through. You come in, our service riders are right there behind us, and you're gonna pull up to whatever counter is available, drop your bike, and then, well, go into the, into the cafe. Yeah, that's right, guys. Wild Hog Cafe right back here where you usually got Dan cooking up something delicious or if your bike's gonna be down for a while, you can even hit Eagle Rider up and well, get you a rental. And of course, there's tons of surprises whenever you're at the world's largest Harley Davidson dealership. Like, I mean, do you expect to find a barber shop at other Harley shops? That's right, guys, a barber shop. And these people can do straight razor and beard work. And well, they do it really well. And that's right before we get into the parts department. <laughs> And of course, whenever you're talking parts, I mean, what would you expect whenever it comes to the world's largest Harley-Davidson dealership but a massive parts experience? I mean, we've got two design center guys on staff and usually at least two or three guys working the counter and everything you could want from cleaners to parts to aftermarket to goodies, you're gonna find it right here. Now, if you've never had an opportunity to come check this place out, it's definitely something you want to come and look into. I mean, in case I haven't mentioned the fact that it is the world's largest Harley Davidson dealership. Yeah, guys, the place is huge. It's got any and everything that you could possibly want. And this is just the downstairs. We're going to head upstairs where we're going to be able to focus on the future of the used bike spotlight. Now, it's been right about two years since I left my friends and family up at Ted's Motorcycle World for the sunshine and the beaches of Daytona Beach, Florida. But in those two years, one of the things that I found the most shocking, the most surprising, is people often were like, hey, aren't you that guy who used to do those videos? Don't I know you from somewhere before? And it happened quite a bit, quite a bit. Now, in the past two years, I've been doing videos with this dealership, but they've just been little one minute Instagram videos, you know, little sales pitches. This is the accessories, it costs some money, you should buy it. But whenever I approached the guys up here at Daytona Harley Davidson, the powers that be, and I told them what was going on, that I had this idea that I'd like to bring back the used bike spotlight. Well, they gave me something to work with. And what they gave me was this, a big space. A pretty cool space. Check this out. Now, 
This is a nice unused area, okay, that the dealership had. It's got this beautiful giant picture window in here. And as you can see, I've been putting in a lot of work. You can see all the sound panels up there on the roof, okay? Got some stuff back here on the ladder. What we're doing is working on getting the echo out of here because guys, this is gonna be the studio for the future of the used bike spotlight. Check this out. So over the last two months, I've been working frantically to try and get not only this studio area ready, but to try and get me ready. Uh, back in the day with the boys over at Ted's Motorcycle World, all the production work, all of the camera work was done by Kyle Stewart and Toby Warner. Guys, I never appreciated how much work you did to make me look good. Now all that stuff is up to me. And if you look at the early videos on this new channel, you're going to see that I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I started off. And to be honest, I'm not that much better now. But I like to try and keep it as simple as humanly possible for you guys. So hopefully we'll be able to get this thing going. Uh, it's It's been some bumps over the road, but I think I'm ready to start really producing some good content. I figured out a way to get the motorcycles out on the road and let you guys hear them. Uh, maybe we'll even see some GoPro footage coming in the future, but right now we've got a good spot to do a full overview of a motorcycle. Again, not just sales pitches, and we've got a way to be able to get them out on the road and let you hear those bikes purr. So I'm very excited about this new chapter. Uh, we're definitely going to see a lot, new, a lot of new stuff coming to you guys. We've got the YouTube station, which is going to be It's Your Boy Dennis, okay? You can see it right there on the screen. It's Your Boy Dennis, and that's exactly how it's going to be. Uh, also, uh, launched an Instagram station, which that's going to be spelled more phonically, at I-T-Z-U-R. B-O-Y-D-E-N-N-I-S, It's Your Boy Dennis, or at It's Your Boy Dennis. Uh, and of course, there's a Facebook page tied up with the same name. Again, <clears throat> It's Your Boy Dennis. So guys, I'm super excited to, to start on this new adventure and to do it with you guys. Uh, because, well, let's face it, you guys are the reason why I'm, why I'm starting it back up. And well, let's have some fun. Until then, well, I'll see you on the road.